Hey guys, welcome to part six of the Dropshipping with AliExpress course. So we've made it very far so far. We've connected to Overlow and basically set up the products that we want on our page for KitchenUp. We have um, installed all the applications that we need for the Shopify store. We've created a logo. We've uploaded that logo into our theme. We've used Pexels and Canva to basically get all the imagery that we need into our site. So we have a completely built site ready to go. Now, the things that we need to add right now and I'm going to jump into, which is extremely important for the site, is um, not only the Google Analytics uh, code, but also the Facebook pixel. And that will lead us into building different advertisements for our page. Now, since this is an AliExpress store, in the marketing funnel, we are going for Facebook advertisements and not Google ads because this is a smaller and cheaper um, item, right? So these items are going to cost anywhere from 10 to $30. We are looking for people to discover this product and then convert right away. So we're not going to use Google ads. We're going to use Facebook ads. Now, the first thing we're going to do is actually make, get the Facebook pixel right here. And to get the Facebook pixel is quite easy. Now, some of you might go on your Facebook page and click on Ad Manager and think that's the best way to build an ads account. But what you actually want to do is go to business.facebook.com and create a specific account for your, the, your um, store. So I made Kitchen Up right here. I've already made that. It's a specific um, ad account for that store. I also have other ad accounts for my other products and things I'm building. So with that, you are able to have a different pixel for each of your stores. So make sure you use a business Facebook ad account. Now, if I go here, I will go then to from the business manager to the ad manager. And that will load really quickly. And I want to make sure that I am on the proper ads account, which is KitchenUp. I have my other ad accounts here, as you can see. So I am in KitchenUp right now. This is the interface, what we're going to go into until later um, video that will go over how we're going to build our store traffic and get conversions. But for now, we want to go up to the top here and go from the ads manager to pixels. And that will give us access to the kitchen up pixel. We're going to create a pixel here. I'm just going to call it kitchen up pixel, hit create. That is a pixel idea right there. Um, you can just copy that directly. I'm going to close this and then I'm going to go back to the store and paste that directly in here and hit save. That will allow Shopify and Facebook to interact so we know what people are coming to the site, who's converting, how many people are converting, what the, how the ads are performing, and so on. So this will stay like this until we start getting traffic. So you'll see this interface, but then it'll change to show a graphic chart of how many people are coming, how many people are converting, down your funnel, and so on. So that is how you install the Facebook pixel that is up and running now. Now if I go to my um, next tab, this is Google Analytics. Now if you go to analytics.google.com, this is where you'll find this part of the prob, uh, um, this is where you'll find the code for your Facebook page. Uh, I mean, sorry, for your Google Analytics. Sorry guys. So for your Google Analytics. And it's very simple. You can have up to 100 Google Analytics account in one account. So I have my other websites here, but all you need to do to add another one is go to admin and then create a new account. Put in the information here. This is the account name. This is the website, kitchenup.com, um, right here. Uh, you can actually also copy this directly, kitchenup.myshopify.com, right here. This is kitchen up. Cool. Industry category. This is home and garden, for example. And then I am East Coast, Eastern time. Boom. Now you can check all this stuff off, but basically it's just going to email you things. So I uncheck all of that. And see right here, you have access to four accounts, maximum is 100. And then you just hit get tracking ID. It's going to give you a terms of service agreement. You just accept that. And then it should create your analytical page. And then you have the website tracker script right here. And you can paste that right here. I believe, just double check. Anyways, save and 
There you go, guys. Once you save that, everything will be set up that you need to for Google Analytics and Facebook. There you go. It's pulled in the information. It's going to embed um, across everything. I use enhanced e-commerce. You can just hit save there. Boom. Everything is set up that you need. So your Facebook pixel set up, your Google Analytics account is set up. Now you'll be able to track both the traffic that Facebook brings in and also Google will track that as well and that will make it much clearer on what's going on with your account. So this is what we needed to set up to start our advertising. Now guys I'm going to jump into the next video which is going to focus on Facebook ads set up so that way you can work on your first ads for driving people to the store and your second ad which will be the conversion. And then finally after I jump into that I'm going to talk about um, a couple different techniques that we can use, which is uh, free plus shipping um, and a couple other scarcity plugins that we can use. So get ready for the next video, guys. I look forward to showing you everything and I'll talk to you soon.